Today I'm going to show you how to create this popular knockout text design in Affinity Designer. Let's get started. Hey everybody, so today I'm going to show you how to create this popular knockout text design in Affinity Designer. If you haven't already, you may want to go to the Affinity website and download the trial version of Affinity Designer so that you can follow along with this tutorial. This trial version will work on a Mac or a Windows computer. I've put the link in the description below if you need to take a minute to go download it. If you have an iPad, there is an iPad version, but there is no free trial. The techniques I'm going to show you in this video will work on the iPad as well, but if you want me to make an iPad version, please let me know in the comments section below. So the first thing you want to do is pick out the font you're going to use for your design. I know a lot of people use Impact and they use the I Love Glitter font, but these are just a few other options you can try like Aiken or Agency or Crown Title or this Yesi font. And for my design today, I'm going to use Agency and I'm going to use Yesi just to be different. Okay, so this is what the finished design is going to look like. So let's just select all that and delete it and we'll get started. So the first thing you want to do is grab your text tool and we want to type out the name for our design. And this can be like a name, it can be a mascot, it can be a saying or a holiday or anything you want it to be. But I'm just going to use the last name. So I'm going to click here, I'm going to choose my font, Agency. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to type out the last name all in caps. I'm going to click on my move tool, enlarge that some. I'm just going to change that to black. Now what I want to do is adjust the tracking a little bit to move these letters closer together. So in the character palette, I'm going to come down here to tracking, click this little down arrow and move that to about minus 20. And that looks pretty good to me. So I'm just going to leave it there. And now I'm going to go to my transform palette and I want to make this 14 wide by four inches tall, but you can make this whatever size you need it to be to fit your project. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is convert this to curves. So with that text selected, I'm gonna come up to layer. I'm gonna come down to convert to curves. Now I'm gonna go back to layer, ungroup all, and then I'm gonna come over here to my Pathfinder tools and I wanna weld those together using the add button. Now it's just one graphic. So over here in the layers palette, I'm gonna click on that layer. I'm gonna click this little lock to lock that layer so we don't accidentally move it around. And I'm gonna come back over here and grab my text tool again. And I'm gonna click here and I wanna change my font. Go back to the character palette and I'm gonna use that Yesi font. Click on that. It's gonna leave that about 130 points. And to get those little heart shapes in the beginning and the end, I'm gonna hold down Shift and press the bracket key. And then I'm gonna type all my letters in lowercase. I'm gonna type George. And then I'm gonna hold shift and press the asterisk key to get the little heart. Then I'm gonna type loves, shift, asterisk, Emmy, Lou. And then I'm gonna hold shift and press the right bracket to close that. And now you can see my spacing is a little bit off, but it's still using that minus 20 that we use for the first word. So I'm just gonna click on my move tool, come over here to the character palette and change that back to zero. And now we're all lined up. Now I want to change the color of this just so we can see it better. And I'm going to click and drag this up. And I have my snapping turned on so that when I drag it up here, it'll help me align this to the word. So if I click that, when I move that up to the middle, you get that little red line that tells you you're aligned top to bottom. And if I move this from left to right, there'll be like a little green bar that appears. And that tells you that you're aligned left to right. So that way we know we've got our design lined up in the middle. Okay, now what we want to do is create outlines for this. So with that selected, I'm going to come up to layer, create curves, and then I'm going to come back up to layer and ungroup all of that. And if I blow this up a little bit, you'll see that some of the letters are overlapping. So if you try to cut this out of vinyl or something, it's going to cut out all these little pieces and that's not what you want at all because it'll make a mess of your design. So with all that selected, we want to come up here to the Pathfinder and click add to weld all that together. And now you'll see there's no overlapping pieces. It's just all one continuous graphic. I'm going to blow this up just a little bit. 
Okay, so with this top layer still selected, we want to make a copy of that. So I'm going to press Command J on my keyboard to make a duplicate. And if you look in the layers palette, we have two copies of that. And with this top layer selected, I'm going to change the color. So I change that to like a purple color. And if I turn this off and on, you'll see I've got two different layers there. And I'm going to go ahead and lock this top layer. And then I'm going to select that middle layer. And I'm going to come up here to either my color palette or my swatches palette and click this outline to bring that to the front. And I want to choose white. So to give it a white stroke, that way we can see how big our stroke is going to be for our knockout. Okay. Now that we've given that a white stroke, we want to come down here to our stroke palette and we want to raise the stroke and you can see it's starting to knock that out and you can make the stroke as big or as small as you want it but I'm going to make mine about 10 just to get rid of most of those little pieces. We've still got a few but we can get rid of those pretty easily. Okay so once you get your stroke set the size that you want it to be come back over here to the layers palette and let's turn off that top layer that purple layer so we can just see the outline. And now what you want to do with that selected is come up to layer and choose expand stroke. And now if you look in the layers palette, it's separated that stroke from the letters. So this bottom layer, this pink layer, we can go ahead and just drag that to the trash and delete that. We don't need that anymore. And turn that layer back on. And with this stroke layer selected, I want to change the color so we can see it a little better. Whoops, I need to do a fill, not a stroke. Just click on the fill and change that color. And now you'll see we have like a lot of little little pieces in here. And we want to get rid of those little pieces because they'll be a really a pain in the butt when you're trying to weed this, if you're doing like vinyl or a t-shirt or something like that. So with that layer selected, what we're going to do is come up here to the Pathfinder and hit this divide button. And you'll see it fills in all those little gaps. But we don't want all the gaps filled in, just the little ones. So with your move tool, just click and drag to select those pieces. And we'll come up here and we'll combine those back together. And then we'll do the E's. So we'll do this E and combine that one. That E is already done. We'll do this E right here. Combine that one. There's an E here. Combine. And then we want to do these hearts. So let's select those. Combine those. And then we'll do these two hearts right here. Click that, combine, click that, combine. Now that we have those combined, let's select all of this. Make sure you select everything that's yellow. And we want to come up here to the Pathfinder and weld all that together using the Add button. All right, so the next thing we need to do is knock this out of the black layer. So let's come over and unlock that layer. So with this yellow layer selected, we'll shift click on that back layer to select that too. We're going to come back up here to the Pathfinder tools and click subtract and that'll knock that out of our background layer. Now all we need to do is turn that top layer back on to complete our design. So then the last thing you can do is just click on these to change the colors and we have this purple layer locked so let's unlock that. We can click on it, change the color. We can click on this black and we can change that color if you want but I'm just going to leave that layer black. And now you're almost ready to either print or cut this out. Um, one other thing I want to show you is if you'll notice right here between the M and the Y, there's like a little sliver. There's one there. There's one here between the Y and the L. And there's a couple of them over here in the R as well. So let me blow this up a little bit and I'll show you how you can eliminate that problem. I'm going to go ahead and lock this pink layer back so we don't mess with that. And then just click on that bottom layer and we want to grab our node tool right here. And you'll notice that there's only two nodes here and this node goes all the way up to that node. So if we delete this node, it's going to kind of round it off here where this node is. So what we want to do is just hover over that line till we get that little squiggly and we'll click there to add a node. Now we can grab these two nodes and delete them and we'll fix that little problem right there. Okay, we can do the same thing with this one. Just click on the letter. And again, this goes all the way up to here. So we want to just click on this line to add a node. We'll just select all these, delete those. And now we fix that one. And we have this one here. And I think these will be okay if we just select those and delete them. That looks all right. Now we've got one right here. And again, this one, this square one goes all the way down here. So let's just click and add a node about right there. We can just delete those, fix that. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and fix this one here too. I'm just going to click, uh, let's just say about here, add a node, delete those two. And I think that looks a lot better. I know this may look a little complicated, but just follow this tutorial a time or two and you'll be a pro at creating these popular knockout designs in no time. Well, I guess that's about it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. If you like this video, please share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Also make sure you click the little bell icon and turn on notifications so you'll know when I upload new videos. And if you want to follow me on social media, all the links are in the description below. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you later.